When I first started playing football, it was uh, mostly just pick up games. Uh, when I was like in the neighborhood, like eight, seven years old. Uh, I started playing organized football when I went to uh, middle school. So when I was in eighth grade, that's when I first started. I just tried out for the team and uh, I just took off from there. No, I just, I, I wish I played a different position, but I, I always was on the offense and D-line. I start, my first position was actually uh, defensive line and uh, that was pretty, f that was pretty fun. Then I got switched to offensive line. Uh, so on the high school, I just continued to get bigger and just continue to like work hard and uh, just improve upon my, uh, my technique and stuff like that. And uh, I just got better and better. And uh, it was just a good experience. I would say uh, they at first started like chattering around uh, my junior season, but my senior season when I actually came to, like a Stony Brook camp, that's when uh, like we all started taking notice. Of, like he can compete and like play at the like the next level, the college level. Well, Timon's a walk-on here at Stony Brook, so it's a pretty neat story. But um, he was a good athlete in high school, more as a basketball player. His football abilities. Um, you know, came from a program that um, hadn't been very successful, and so we really recruited him based on his basketball talent on the basketball court. I actually played basketball my, my senior year, and uh, that was just, that was pretty fun. Are you good? I started I started uh, midway through the season, got a lot of rebounds. I, I take a lot of pride in that, not to miss like game. I mean, I have never missed a practice either, so I take a lot of pride in that, like being on one of the only few people that are, like able to like stay like completely healthy, and this this really just enjoy and just thankful for the experience to play football. I try to keep nothing on my mind, just just a clear focus, just relax, and just have like my my me time before the game. Uh, right before we come out, I would just you know just, just start thinking about like like what the defense is going to give me and like what I'm what I want to do during the game what I want to oppose my I want to oppose my will on the defense basically and I'll say it's just friendly chatter for the most part I really don't do any like trash talking I leave it up for the defensive linemen mostly they talk here and there well I but personally the, I, the craziest thing I ever heard was uh somebody was talking to one of our actually I'm not even gonna say that <laughs> no, I can't even say that uh uh, there's nothing I can say. Uh, I just look back on it and just say like I've been really like blessed, been been lucky to lucked out, you know. Uh, and um, early on, we had uh, injuries to the offensive line. They gave me like an opportunity to get a lot of reps, and uh, I just took advantage of it. Like it allowed me to get better, and then I just continue to get better each year. And then like I'm just thankful that I'm in a situation where I can play at the next level. Yeah, he's quiet, reserved, um, unassuming, um, does well in the classroom, um, really, um, he's an observer, he's, he's more of a typical offensive lineman, uh, you know, they know their role, they're, they're going to have to work really hard and get very limited recognition, and um, I think he's fine with that. Uh, basically, my parents, is, growing up, they just taught me to just be respectful and taught me discipline, just stay focused. They, uh, they always preach uh, school first, that uh, everything else will take care of itself, basically, growing up.